All right, how's it going? It's um, like uh, the 3rd of November now, so it's a couple days after Halloween. Um, starting actually to feel just a little bit stressed. Why? Yeah, there's 362 days until Halloween this next year, but um, not doing it. I need to come back with a bang. I need to bring it. I need to bring my A game. It's kind of like a uh, baseball or football team that, you know, just hasn't really done the right thing and they've been like really sucking. I got to bring it. All right. So anyway, oh, before we go much further, I have to uh, introduce the one thing that helps get me through. Focus in on this because Duffman says, oh, yeah. Okay. So anyway, that was just uh, probably a little too much. Anyway, what am I doing here? Um, I told you guys the other day that I wanted... Oh, this is in the inside of the car, obviously. Um, and you saw the other day that I welded the doors up. Um, I actually had a training class last night for work, so I wasn't able to uh, do a whole lot. But I did tell you guys that I was starting to remove the deck lid. And the nice thing about this is the brake light... Uh, excuse me. I'm going to be... <laughs> see, that's the Duff Man talking. Um, the brake light I'm going to uh, obviously keep... And it's so nice that it's up on the metal, so I can remove everything else, and it's going to stay stationary. Um, I'm not worried about people uh, seeing the deck lid, because all the windows are going to be uh, painted black, uh, flat black, from the inside. Um, so the only thing that I have left to do up here is to uh, take off the, uh, the seat belts on both sides, and a little bit of this uh, vibration vinyl stuff and also uh, remove the speaker. I've actually saved, I'm not sure if you can see it down there, zoom in, I've actually saved the speaker from the one side because what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use that, I'm going to mount it um, in the trunk, which you probably can't see, but back there I'm going to mount in the trunk and have it point down just about where the exhaust would um, come out and that way the, the sound will be coming from the exhaust because I've told you before you can't get more real than real so you know the best I can do is you know um, try to do my best and make it as real as possible so also um, I actually set out tonight to um, uh, prepare to cut the rest to make the final cut on the car uh, this weekend which the, the blade is going to be going from the saw is going to be going approximately I think right about where's the camera at okay right about here and you can probably see that this right here is the door latch stuff and the window regulator and I just thought it would make it so much easier if I was just to take that stuff out so that I don't have to worry about um oh hello see it's still getting used to this I told you there we go Okay. I'm sure you don't want just one huge face in there. Anyway, um, what was I saying? Um, I need to uh, take that stuff out just so that the saw um, will have that much less to go through, that much less trouble, which will also make a more accurate cut. Okay, now, if you're watching this, which I don't have a whole lot of subscribers right now, so if you are watching this, then hey, thank you. I appreciate it. Um, hopefully I'll get a lot more subscribers. Um, I'm going to try to make these not as dry too because I've actually watched the last couple ones and they've been like really dry. I almost uh, feel like I'm just sitting here talking monotone like, you know, next Halloween is going to be really cool and, you know, I'm going to do all this stuff and look at the car here and this is what I'm doing. No, I want to make them more interesting so that people will watch like you right there. Thank you. <laughs> anyway, um, so yeah, that's where I'm at tonight. Um, I like I said, I hope to uh, finish up the deck lid, getting the speaker removed. Um, and then I've got a training class again tomorrow night, which is Thursday. So hopefully Friday I'll be able to get the rest of the inside of the door stripped uh, so that I can show you uh, the cutting process of when I make the final cut on the car. Um, and then from there, um, basically my plan is to, um, once the car is cut, I'd like to make it semi-mobile. So, I mean, I've got a little bit of sheet metal here to work with, you know, once it's cut, um, you know, it's hollow in here. So there's, where is it? Two pieces of sheet metal that are up there. So what I'd like to do is I'd actually like to take this whole thing and um, put it on uh, large casters so that the whole butt end of the car, to make it mobile, I can actually flip up so that this whole, maybe I should get outside. I'm not sure if you know what I'm talking about. I'm not sure I know what I'm talking about. Oh, crap. 
Okay, so here we are. So basically what I want to do is make the cuts here, and then I'll take the whole car, the rest of it, with uh, four casters, two on the top, two on the bottom. And I'll be able to take the whole car and flip it this way with the butt end up in the air so that I'll be able to move it around. Um, that'll make it a lot more easier, or it'll make it a lot easier, and um, hopefully uh, I can make that happen by next week. So game plan for tonight, like I said, finish uh, stripping the deck lid. Um, day after tomorrow, I'm going to finish uh, stripping the doors, and from there, um, hopefully be able to uh, put the casters in. Now, the other thing that I also have to deal with is I need to take the wheels off, need to strip the uh, all the brakes, the drum, the backing plate, all the brake hardware, and I'm also thinking about taking out the struts and the shocks, um, actually the struts, this car has struts in the rear, taking those out, and I've toyed, I'm, I'm still not sure what I want to do, if I want to make it a single axle or excuse me a fixed axle to where I take the strut out and then I just weld the bar in there to hold the wheels in position or if I actually want to have the wheels go with the contour of the ground uh, when this thing's moving so I don't know haven't gotten there but uh, I just want to update you guys um, and like I said if you're watching hey and um, by the way too, uh, feel free to give a video response um, give me some feedback to know if you like these videos, if you don't like them, what I can change, and well, I don't know. I'll see what I can do. But anyway, um, have a good night, and I will chat at you later.